Welcome back guys, my name is Patrick and this is Edmonton Oilers Trade Deadline Primer, a series looking at the Oilers forwards, defense and goaltending leading up to the trade deadline, seeing where things are currently at, where the Oilers holes are, and the series will close out with us looking at different players the Oilers could target to fill the holes in their lineup. You can check out a link to the first installment in the series covering the forwards in the description below. Today we will be covering the defense. Due to COVID and injuries, the Oilers have gotten to see some of their prospects in action this season, including such names as Philip Broberg, Marcus Niemelainen, William Legison, and Dmitry Samarukov. Broberg, Niemelainen, and Legison have all impressed to varying degrees, and Samarukov's time was short-lived due to a horrid first game. For the most part, the Oilers have primarily deployed these eight defensemen. Darnell Nurse, Evan Bouchard, Duncan Keith, Cody Ceci, William Legison, Tyson Berry, Slater Cuckoo, and Chris Russell. Darnell Nurse and Evan Bouchard have been Edmonton's top pairing, Duncan Keith and Cody Ceci the second pairing, and as of this recording, Slater Cuckoo is in Bakersfield, and Chris Russell and William Legison are rotating in the third pairing with Tyson Berry. Russell is currently on injured reserve. With the players they currently have, and prospects like Broberg and Niemelainen coming, I think the Oilers' strength is their left side. I do like Warren Fogel, but there is no denying that this team could use Ethan Bear on the right side. But what's done is done, so let's focus on the here and now. Darnell Nurse doesn't have as many goals this season, but has recorded 19 points in 35 games and is the Oilers' undisputed top D-man. He starts his eight-year extension next season and isn't going anywhere. Evan Bouchard is being given his shot this year and has impressed so far. There have been some bumps along the way, but that's to be expected with a young player. I think Nurse and Bouchard will be the Oilers' top pairing for years to come. Duncan Keith has made his mistakes, and the Oilers should not be paying his full contract, but here we are. Keith has been solid for the Oilers so far, and it's been noted recently that he's trying to take a more active leadership role for the team. He's a serviceable second-pairing D-man for the Oilers, but a strong contending team would try to push him down to the third pairing for the playoffs and bring in an upgrade. Cody Ceci was brought in to take Adam Larson's role in the lineup, and he's been good. Not a fan of the length of his contract, but he's provided value for his $3.25 million salary. Along with Keith, he's given the Oilers a solid second pairing. Like Keith, he's probably better suited in the third pairing on a contending team, but you have to work with what you have. Chris Russell has been a reliable veteran for the Oilers, but has struggled with injuries this season. Ideally, Russell is your 7th D-man, who can slot in as needed. He's a UFA at the end of this season, and with the depth the Oilers have on the left side, I think his time in Edmonton will likely be done. It's believed William Legison may have asked for a trade, but his strong play could keep him in town or make him more appealing to another team. As we all know, you can never have too much depth on the blue line, especially come playoff time. Tyson Berry has been the disappointment for the Oilers. Signed to a new three-year contract at $4.5 million last summer, Berry unfortunately hasn't earned it. He's never been a defensive dynamo, but you could at least rely on some offensive production, and that hasn't been there this season. Bouchard and Nurse are more than capable of covering him on the power play. If the Oilers can find a new home for Barry, it should be a top priority. As the Oilers look toward the trade deadline, I would focus on upgrading their second pairing and adding another veteran 6th or 7th D-man if cap space allows. The Oilers have William Legison, Philip Broberg, Marcus Niemelainen, and Dmitry Samarukov as prospects that will be pushing for roles next season. One or two of those names could be gone in a trade, though, to upgrade at another position. I could see Samarukov going in a deal at the deadline, or possibly at the draft. I'd list the following defensemen as the trade bait the Oilers may try to move at the deadline. Tyson Berry, William Legison, and Dmitry Samarukov. In the next two installments... I'll take a look at goaltending, and then I'll wrap up the series looking at trade deadline targets for the Oilers to fill their spots of need. Well, that concludes this installment. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers, Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you soon. Take care.